and welcome to another Easy Digitals tutorial. Today we're going to be working with our friends template, which can also be used as a People magazine cover. Remember, you can purchase any of our magazine covers and templates at easydigitals.com and click on the shopping link. All right, let's get started by closing this out. Now here is our Friends Magazine template, and we're going to use it as a People Magazine template today. So the first thing I'm going to do is change some of these layers. All right. And I'm going to arrow down and turn on my People layer and turn off my Friends. Okay, I'm going to open up my first picture that's going to be in the background, a picture of me and Sylvester Stallone. Okay, it's not really a picture of me and Sylvester Stallone, but it's from the Wax Celebrity Wax Museum in Las Vegas and I had my picture taken with the Wax version of Sylvester Stallone but it was still pretty fun so it's great for these People magazine covers. Okay so now I've got myself placed here and I'm going to actually I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and arrow it into the right position Now I've covered up some things so I'm just going to press control and arrow this picture down so that it's underneath. Okay, now as you can see I already have a problem because I have, I have white space up here and my red box is just kind of sitting here. Okay, so this will be my inspiration right here. So I'm just going to take this red box and I'm just going to drag it out drag it up. Alright, and now I'm going to press enter and I'm going to arrow this picture down with my arrow keys. Okay, I'm also going to move this over to the center. Make sure I can see the whole thing here. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and scooch my date over. Now I'm going to change this people to white. I'm going to double click it, the layer, color overlay, and I'm just going to put in six F's. Click OK. Now I also want to add a stroke, so I'm going to double click it, click stroke, and I want the stroke to be on the outside and about 10 and I click OK. Alright, now it's starting to look like something. Now I'm going to turn these off because we're going to add some more pictures to this. And I'm going to arrow this down and let's start adding pictures. So the next picture I'm going to add is this picture of me and Muhammad Ali. And basically I'm going to crop it so that it's very tight and then I'm going to click my move tool and drag it down and get it positioned to where I like it about right there and press enter. I'm going to drag actually I'm going to drag a guide out for the top and another guide for the bottom which you can just drag it right out of this this ruler area. Also another thing you might notice is that as things move around you see these pink lines and that's because I have the smart guides on and you can turn those off and on by coming over to show smart guides and I, I think they're pretty handy because as you move things around it tells you what it's lined up with. Alright so I'm gonna open another picture um, Harrison Ford and I'm going to crop this one pretty tight as well. Oops, drag it in. I'm going to line up the bottom here with my guide. You saw how it turns pink there. And then I'm just going to press my shift key down while I get this into place. And as you can see once it hits the right spot it changes colors there and then press enter. Okay, I'm going to bring one more picture into that area. Brad Pitt. 
crop. And drag it in. Press enter. And I'm going to arrow this over. Just going to, okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a stroke to these as well. So I'm going to double click it, stroke, inside, and I'm going to see what it looks like. I want it to be the same color as the red that is in my top. So double click. Sometimes these subtle differences show up in print more than they do on the com on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to just increase the size of the stroke so it's at 13. Now all I have to do is right click this, copy layer style, and just add it, paste, paste. So now they're all there and I'm just going to scooch these in. These pictures were taken with a 35 millimeter camera several years ago, so they're not that great, but it's still fun. It's still fun to have pictures of yourself with celebrities. Okay, now in my inspiration piece has pictures in the corner too, so I'm going to add those in real quick too. Me and Mel Gibson. This one I'm going to crop even tighter just to get our heads. Move tool, drag it in, and arrow it up. And I'm going to just so that I get it underneath the people. I'm going to have to make this a little bit smaller. It's a little too small, so I'm going to make a little bit smaller. Arrow up. And one more. Paul Newman. Crop it tight. Drag it in. Just move it up. Control. Left bracket. There you go. Now I could change this and I could say whatever I wanted. So there you go. You can add your own personalized pictures to any template. You can have extra small pictures in the bottom, at the top. You could add them along the side here and just use your guides to make sure that they're all the same width. And I'm going to show you that real quick. Let's say I want these along the side instead. I'm just going to cover up and I just pull out a guide here for this area. Pull out a guide for over here. Make this one smaller. Just set up the distances. And now you have them on the left side. You would turn this off. And now you have them along the left. You could do the same thing with the right. There's lots of ways you can add these. So it's a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy it.